Hey guys, it's Natasha and welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are having a great and fantastic day. Let me put you down so I don't give you a literal headache and migraine with my arm moving so much. So today I'm just doing a study with me video. You guys have requested this. It's more chill, laid back. I have an organic chemistry test tomorrow. Yes, a third one. You saw my last video. I already told you that I had two and I already have a third one tomorrow. So I'm just going to show you kind of how I prep for that. I know it's literally the day before, but I'll just show you what you've missed up to this point. And then from now until tomorrow, how I'll prep for my test. And we're just going to have a great and fantastic day. Today is literally a content day. I am at home. I'm just shooting a bunch of TikToks, shooting stuff for my YouTube, taking Instagram pictures, all the fun stuff, all the fun stuff that I like to do on my Thursday as a college student. So first, we're going to get all my stuff out that I need and then I'll kind of show you what I do to prepare for the test. Okay, so one of the first things that I like to do when I am studying is make sure that I am one, cut off with all my classes and two, have all my notes. So that's what I did last night. I was missing one of the lectures. I didn't watch it, so I watched it last night and then I finished taking my notes. I always use these notebooks. If you guys have heard of me talking about them before, they're literally the best. I'll link them down below. They're from Amazon. They're hardcover. They have um, as you can see they're like graph paper which is awesome especially for organic chemistry because we're drawing molecules and compounds all the time and this just makes it a little bit easier even though sometimes I don't really follow the squares however besides the point so let me just show you one of the pages so this is chapter 14 that I was looking into yesterday we're looking at delocalized pi system so I just kind of put a little orange highlighter in like the main subheadings and then I would write the information down below and if anything needed to be highlighted for example this is organic chemistry 2 and we're looking at a lot of new reagents so I'll highlight that in yellow so I know that when I'm sitting for the test this is a reagent that I need to know and I need to remember for the test for my organic chemistry class this year I like it a little bit more because we get tested on each chapter instead of being like a cumulative two to three chapter test that way we can break it down a little bit more and there's just not a lot of content so we get more time to focus on individual things okay so now that I have like all my material all that I use is my notes that I take for the lecture I also like to have my my lecture video open just in case I need to go back to a part that I really didn't understand where I wrote down and then I start doing my homework as practice. So I have my computer here with me. I'll open up any videos that I need to go back on. For example, if I'm reading through my notes and I really don't understand something that I wrote down, I'll go ahead and open that video lecture to like re-listen to what he had to say because sometimes I write gibberish down and then I'm like, what is he really saying? So. What I'm gonna do specifically when I am preparing for a test is I do a lot of practice problems for me. Organic chemistry is kind of like math. The more practice problems you do, the better I understand. Specifically for organic chemistry too, there's a lot of reagents that we need to remember, a lot of reactions that we need to remember. So I like to take time to write things down and just like redo it over and over again. I'm just gonna show you something I did for my last chapter that really helped me for the chapter test to like really remember, especially if you're studying like organic chemistry. I just took all my, ch I labeled it, I did chapter 12 reagents. I did the same thing for chapter 13. I wrote the name of each reaction that we should know for the test and then I wrote the reagents and highlighted the reagents so like I could like remember them and get familiarized with them and I just find this very helpful as a resource so for example if I'm just going through practice problems from like the textbook or any of like the homework stuff I'll have my homework open and I'll have this on the side I'll try my best to do it out of memory but if I can't remember that I'll be like okay what is hydrohalogenation and how do I need like what region do I need to like make that happen and I'll just like look at my little cute sheet and then I can go ahead and do my homework problems Finally know the reason why, yeah. I'm never really satisfied, yeah. Looking up a paradise, yeah. Without you by my side. Okay, so I've watched all my lectures, I've gathered all my notes, like I know what material I need to study for and something that my teacher does that's really helpful for me is that he provides a homework that we need to submit the day of the test as well. So for example, this is chapter 14 homework. He'll have a bunch of questions that we can practice from and they're similar to the test questions in the, like the same format and I find that very helpful so I know like what's too much studying, what's too little studying, like what I should focus on a little bit more. So that is what I'm doing right now. I'm just pulling out my homework questions. <laughs> Also, we're 
college students and organic chemistry is hard so something that I use always always is my peers and my tutor i have tutoring sessions like during the week and i'll try to go to as many of those as i can but what thing i don't do is that i can't show up to a tutoring session if i don't know what i have questions for like if i have not started studying for that test I feel like it's a waste of time for me to show up to tutoring because I'm like I don't have like specific questions that he'll actually be able to explain to me and I'll benefit from like actually going to tutoring so that's just one thing that I do is I want to prepare fully as much as I can for myself before I go to any of my peers and any of my tutors to like actually know what I need help on and like what questions I need like support in so that is something that I do throughout the week and then tonight we actually have like a homework session so we're gonna get together with a bunch of classmates and we're gonna work through the homework Homework problems for example you might know x y and z and then friend might know something else that you don't know so like as you're solving the problem and you're getting stuck and you're like oh my goodness how do i do this i'm so confused and they're like actually it's this way and then they they can teach you and then you have the chance to also teach them i just think it's very helpful you really know that you know the content when you're able to teach someone and like run them through the process that's where i really know i'm like oh my goodness i really understand this concept because they didn't get it and i saw like what we needed to do to undergo this reaction and then I was able to explain to them that's why I really love meeting up with like my classmates to make sure to see like what they know that I should probably also know for the test and what I know and that I could share with them and then we all benefit from it so later on tonight I'm going to go to like a homework session and then we're all gonna work the homework together I just find that very very helpful and then tomorrow last minute tutoring session last minute questions for the tutor so he can help us work through for work through our problems or like last minute questions before the test. I just realized that this video is more of me telling you what I do to study for my organic chemistry rather than like just me showing you. There's not really much to show. Like I don't want to be in front of my camera just like for like 10 minutes straight. Like the studying part, you know, it's just it looks a little bit like this but I just wanted to give you a little bit of tips and pointers on how I study maybe you can use this in your own studying I know you guys ask me all the time how do you start from X Y and Z I did a biology video if you guys want to see that that's like more specific towards biology but now that this is more organic chemistry there are just like different things that I like to do to study for it that I wouldn't do for my biology studying so hopefully this helped you guys out hopefully I said something that you might want to apply for your organic chemistry studying or just like any gen chem study because chemistry is hard and it takes a lot of work but when you get the right resources when you get the right help when you just like do the right things then it gets just a little bit easier so I hope you guys enjoy this video if you did make sure to give a thumbs up leave a comment down below on any video you guys want to see next don't forget to follow me on my instagram at natasha.com Mather and don't forget to follow me on my TikTok at Natasha's Closet and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!